uh, sell the properties. The markets down, markets, balance market or markets coming down, we all know that one, is going to continuously going to be the same way because of the interest rate changes and the world economy and the gas. Uh, the world world uh, um, the, uh, um, the gas price gas price and uh, other changes the market is going to be another at least another 12 months market is going to be decline market price is going to come down in that case sellers may ask you the target money you may not going to make this is the best start when the market come down what kind of property is losing value more you can see some statistics showing 48 percent down it's not like we don't we know that's not really a market <coughs> any say market the if the market is unique every corner is different different price is a every type of properties are different and those are different different kind of uh, um, the market trend and the freehold market trend and the farmland bigger houses the bigger houses builders bigger houses i want to use the word builders builders bigger houses 3500 square foot and more builders houses can easily lose more money than the a regular regular townhomes or semi houses the same way that when they increase too they, they increase more in that case if somebody somebody want they want to invest the money but they want to do the airbnb or they want to do anything else this is the time for them in that case change your change your uh, um, the, the, the clientele change your clientele find the pillar which pillar is worth for this time you have to equally spend the time for the buyers and sellers right now you know not only uh, not only focusing for the sellers and change your change your target market, change your change a different group. That's not a, that's not a training today anyway. But I just uh, um, the, the informing you guys. I we we spend first first five minutes to ten minutes. Everybody to everybody to join our join our meeting. I'm going to go with some questions. Uh, I get the questions today. A few questions. Uh, someone want to um, the, the, discuss that one. One of the new agent. He asked me yesterday. He asked me yesterday. What is the difference between sign back? And we are giving the offer. He asked me, I give the offer to the seller. Seller sign it back, and we're going to give them back. What is the difference? Can I can I make a new offer or is it different? What is the difference? Okay. If the property is listed, if the property is listed, what does that mean? It's an advertisement for sale. The proper listing, MLS listing, just yes, is a legal document. Seller sign with the commission agreement and all the details. Listing agent verify information and they're putting in, but still that's an advertisement. Advertisement for the particular properties, you know, pictures and everything. The buyer, if we are, the, we are working with the buyer, if the buyer like it, buyer making the offer to the seller, it's not necessary. If the seller also can make the offer to the buyer, doesn't matter. But mostly the seller advertise the properties and buyer making the offer to the seller. In that in that reason, when you send the offer to the seller, seller review. And seller changing whatever he wants it and sign back and give it to you. If the sign back means, sign back means that's an offer. That's not your offer. You, you gave the offer, the same papers, but seller sign back and give it to you. That means seller is offering to you with the new prices, new condition, whether you put a condition, they cross the condition and they put the price, you put the price of 1 million, they put the price of 1.1 million, whatever the price they want to do it. As a seller's offer is coming to the buyer. That means the what is the Then when you're going to sign back again, or you won't accept the offer. If you are accepting the offer, that means you are accepting the seller's offer. In that case, you cannot change anything. You you agreed whatever the seller's changes, whatever you agreed, whatever the seller's changes, and you are initialing it and signing the acceptance. That means you are accepting the seller's offer. That's no longer your offer. If you are, you are signing back again, what does that mean is, what does that mean is you are giving the new offer, new offer with a new condition to the, uh, the, the seller again. Yes, if you don't, if you want it, you can, you can give the new offer, but at the same time, we usually sign, sign back to the seller. The reason, whatever changes he did, you don't have to type it out again. You're initialing it, but according to the legal rights, legal law, uh, the seller signed back, you are, you are initialing it and you are accepting the seller signed back, that means that means you are offering to them as a new offer. That's the way they count. For example, you are giving the seller to the, the, the question came from the salesperson. Uh, the, 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 the offer, offer he signed back. Seller signed back the offer. He signed back again to the seller. If you sign back again to the seller, that's me. Or after you or before you, what seller has to do? 
Seller has to treat as a multiple offer. He cannot work with your offer only. This is a question the salesperson asked me. Uh, um, the, in this case, what will happen? Seller keep your offer as well as another offer came. You should have accepted you need the need the property, but in, in this situation, you are signing back to them again. When you're signing back to them again, that's a new offer to the seller. Then they can keep both offers and the seller get the chance now. They have two offers and they will inform both parties. They have two offers. And they will pick one, whatever they like it. They sign back doesn't mean they have to continue to work with only one salesperson. I hope you understand this one. If you have a question, just, just come out and ask me. Uh, giving the offer is one side. Seller sign back is other side. You are signing back to the seller again. Uh, um, the, that time, seller have the rights to entertain another offers if, he, if it is available or if he get from other salesperson. Okay. The next question. Uh, the next the next question um, uh, um, the mutual release question that also happen in office is a, is a, is a, is a is a big mess for for example that particular particular property maybe the agent might be in our group right now um, the, 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 the seller sold his condo and bought the property after he bought the property he paid around two hundred sixty thousand dollars more the property listed one, 1 million plus and uh, uh, the seller bought the property 1.3 million, 1.3 million 50. That's been 250,000, 270,000 dollars more offered more than whatever the listing price. Mm -hmm. What happened? You get, you, we all can expect today's market. What happened? The appraisal value came down. 250,000 appraisal value came down. By uh, the buyer, he doesn't want to close a transaction. He doesn't have the money to close a transaction because the, uh, the property price came price came down. The buyer is threatening the lawyers and our office and the agent. He wants to sue everybody uh, based on the category. Uh, the broker record not helping him to get the uh, deposit back. Mutual agreement of purchase and sale. Who is the one signing it? Buyer and seller signing under the under the seal or under the good faith deposit. That the, the offer is upon. Offer is either a conditional offer or a firm offer. This in this particular situation, a firm offer. The agreement between buyer and seller, not two companies broker of records. That's what the agent is supposed to understand to explain to the client. The buyer and seller, the broker of records are not standing and, and undertaking your deposit. If the deal doesn't go through, we will pay you the money. Not like that. What happening? Buyer and seller signing the signing the offer. If the buyer doesn't grow able to close a transaction or dealing with the mortgage. Who is responsible? Uh, the buyer can ask mutual release, but 99.9% .9 chance the seller is not going to get the seller not going to sign the mutual release and give, give the money back or 50% money. The, the broker record nothing to do with this here. Broker record only can look after we advertisement standard and what is legal and what is not legal. That broker records not broker record cannot do it because he's not a broker record doesn't hold the money. Buyer and seller is the one agreement of the transaction. Party of the transaction, buyer and seller. They had to do the release. It's not the, it's not the company companies or salesperson do the release. Okay, but anyway, um, the, if anything happened, they can sue you, sue the sue the sue the, sue the salesperson to say they didn't get the value and those kind of so many other things. But at the same time, mutual releases based on the party of the transaction. Uh, I got another question: uh, the, the cost of the title insurance. One agent asked me the clients bought the property nine hundred and eighty-two thousand. How much is the title insurance going to cost? The, um, the, the, what I like to explain to the explain to the, the uh, explain to you guys today, title insurance is come with uh, uh, two type one two policies, lenders policy and the owners policy. Lenders policy based on which which institution you are getting it, you must get it. Owners policy also <coughs> not not mandatory, but at the same time without owners policy, <coughs> lawyers going to. Lawyer is not going to register the transaction, and um, if the lawyer want to do without owner's policy, they have to do more, more, more searches, and the search search charges and their fees is going to be much higher than the owner's policy. That's mean uh, we don't want to separate it as a as a discussion. I'm going to go with only just one one title insurance. Okay, based on the title insurance, uh, the, there are so many factors is behind for the title insurance cost. How much is going to cost? That's based on based on how much money uh, you want to involve. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, uh, um, um, how much the price of the property, 
the second, 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 how old is the property? Is? If the property is old, maybe 200, 200 years property compared to the brand new five years old property, is, there are two different things is there. In that case, title insurance, title insurance based on age of the property, condition of the property, whether the property is near, near to the water or far away from the water, near to the, near to the, 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 the uh, the, the factories or environmental, environmental places, distance from the main road, main road properties, different than the side seat properties. A lot of difference are there. They have the formula. Uh, very hard to tell you exactly how much is going to cost. But at the same time, say 1%, 1%. Uh, if it is $1 million property, uh, I asked the lawyer before I start the seminar after see the question. Uh, she said around 800 to $1,200. It varies from 0.8 to 1.2% because of the situation of the property look location of the property where is the uh, how many years property same as same as uh, insurance insurance policies with the 60 m 100 m and see there are so many questions but the title insurance they have their own formula for the for the age of the properties okay the next one the when they finish the last last seminar last last class i said uh, uh, one agent asked me about the sale of business. Then I said, okay, say so I'm going to start with next class, the sale of business. I put the sale of business, the sale of business, uh, uh, um, uh, the question of sale of business topic as a last part because I I I I was wait, I'm waiting 15 minutes to give the chance for everybody to join. We're going to talk about the sale of business, how to approach the sale of business, what is the what what do you have to be look at for the sale of business. Uh, after that one, we can go to the purchase sale agreement, closes and conditions, okay? Now it's going to go through the sale of business, a little bit detail, a little bit detail, detail for sale of business. Okay, <clears throat> when you are going for the sale of business, there are two major kinds. The kinds are sale of business with the property, sale of business without the property. With property and without property is a major, major, major difference for the sale of business. If the sale of business come with the property, what do you have to do if the if, if the seller is asked just one value? For example, seller saying around 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 six hundred thousand for the sale of business, and um, the, in the immediately what does your job to do? You have to find out how much the property worth, how much is the business worth. That's very important to get the mortgage. Sale of business if they come with the property, yes, you can get the mortgage for the property as a commercial mortgage, owner occupying business mortgage for the for the sale of business with the property. But the sale of business alone, many cases, bank doesn't want to give the mortgages. Bank may give the mortgage, but the, most of the time, bank doesn't want to give the mortgage because, because sale of business, there are so many conflicts in the sale of business. So many so many factors is around deciding the sale of business, how your success is going to be. What kind of business, what, what kind of business, who is the one running the business, how are you going to run the business? Uh, for example, uh, um, uh, I always repeat this one to all other meetings. Uh, my office was located in Markham and Markham and Eglinton those days. There's a meat store. There's, that's that's right right uh, in the basement of our, our office was second floor, the main floor of the meat store. The meat store guys, as employees, as a group of employees, got the uh, group of employees uh, win the lottery. Uh, they, they as, as a group, they put the money and they win the lottery. And the, they came to the sale, the first people they approached me as a, as a as a real estate office on top of their business, then then that one is a is a is a, is a, is a meat store. It's a German based. What's the result, guys? If somebody selling the meat for the grocery uh, store for the for the, the people who come there, the clientele is mostly for the European people, mostly German people. They even come to talk the language, doc. And uh, Dutch language, they talk sometimes they, 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 as a fund. And the business is based on that one. Who's going to buy the business to run to make money? The similar people. Otherwise, the, even though the person who, who, who was there was making money, who was coming to buy, it's impossible to make the money he make because it's a unique. Every business is unique. If you buy an Italian restaurant, the cook is good cook. You need to know how to make the Italian food. If, it is, if you buy the regular pizza, yes, you can learn faster. Fast food restaurant, you can learn faster. Convenience store, you can learn faster. But it depends on the, the sale of business, who is the one running it, how the person who buying it, who is going to run, what is the value if this come with the uh, property and without property. The, 
when it's come to the end, I'll come back to the sale of business with the property and without property because of the HST, as well as the land transfer tax and closing cost. We had to, we had to, we had to explain to the buyer land transfer tax only for the property value, not for the sale of business value. HST immediately, but but what the HST you had to pay immediately for the sale of business as well as the properties property you handle it differently. We we will talk about that in the in in for the closing cost. And uh, when it's come to sale of business, <clears throat> we all know the term <coughs> bulk sale act. Bulk sale act, bulk sale act, every, every, every business or every, uh, um, I could say, uh, type of any categories, we are bounded by the act. Every act is governing us. Marriage act is different for the, um, um, uh, the family, family, family law act is different for different. Somebody want to go for a divorce and somebody want to adopt the kids. The different the family law act is going to be there. And um, real estate, real estate and business brokers act and uh, the mortgage, mortgage industry, Fisco, Fisco have uh, Fisco having act in the banks coming under the house national housing act. Same thing, bulk sale act is the one was governing us under 2017. Under 2017, any sale of business go, we have to follow the bulk sale act. 2017, 2017, they changed that one. Um, they changed the act. They passed the bill the, called Bill 27 and changed the act. Um, the, Burden Reduction Act 2017. Um, the meaning is actually under the Bulk Sale Act was an old act. They, they created 1957. And uh, there are so many issues over there. They replaced that act. But still, certain factors is the one important for us. Uh, taking over the business from one owner to other owner. There are basic law. Basic law. But what is the basic law? You had to keep the employees. You had to keep the employees. The employee having an experienced employee. They are, they are Walmart taking over. Uh, yeah, but, uh, say, say for example, Walmart taking over CS, for example, just, just picking a number. Uh, um, in that case, the, the older employees work under CS, oh, sorry, Bay, Bay taking over CS, for example, older Bay employees supposed to, the, 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 the Bay company supposed to take over all the CS employees. That's one of the things under the Bulk Sale Act and the, after Bill 27 is the new act. Uh, um, the, for example, if you are buying it, if you are buying a small convenience store, and under the bulk sale act is the one we are asking them for the name of the company as a phone number of the company. We had to put it in and they had to give us. Otherwise, we had to put in writing. They are selling the property, but they are not selling the name of the property. Sorry, name of the business. We had to be specifically saying what we are getting it. Under the bulk sale, they, 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 then, then when you are when you are when, when we are dealing with the when we are dealing with the sale of business, we had to understand there's an act is governing us. We had to understand those parts. If the existing sale of business we are taking over, okay. And um, what else we need to know for the, um, the about about the sale of business? For example, but, but the general general one. I'm going for a general one. Um, um, going for a general one. Um, 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 sale of business alone. For example, if you sale of business alone, or with the property sale of business portion, what does that means? Only a goodwill. Only a goodwill. For example, when convenience store is running that area, area, they're asking, give me $200,000 because this convenience store is making this much money. For example, beside that convenience store, <clears throat> forget about this property, okay, right, regular business right now, easy for us. But beside that convenience store, there's a, there's a vacant unit is there too. Then what is the choice for a buyer to look at it, whether I'm taking over the convenience store or as the by, by getting the new and the next door, and I can build my own. You can decide what you're going to do. For example, in that case, if we are taking over the existing store, if we are taking over the existing store, existing existing store, you are getting the goodwill. Only goodwill you are getting it for it because of because ten years people used to it. They 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 coming and buying the milk, the basic gross basic goodwill store. They buying the milk and lotto, playing the lotto, and all this one. Then the customers keep coming in and the selfing and everything is already there. Then you are paying for the money, one portion of the money for the what are the what are the what are the, the chattels and uh, chattels and fixtures is there. You are buying out that one. But the most of the money, the 70% of 70% of the money is going as a goodwill. When I say when they use the word goodwill, goodwill, what is that goodwill is how many years you are running it? What is the what is the value of the business, how did you run the business and go further. In that case, 
what do you have to look at it? I may keep the business in the same location. Very important part. When you go for a sale of business, you have to know if you buy the sale of business, for example, last one week, everybody talking about Melbourne Mall. Melbourne Mall, they're going to demolish the Melbourne Mall and they're going to build a condo. We all, we all heard the story. Most of the real estate agents, you guys heard the stories in our Comley WhatsApp group as well as the media's, media's forecast in that one. And in this case, what are the properties? They are located in the Melbourne Mall right now. And they are only one store. They was running it for the last 10 years. What is the value? <laughs> it's going to be zero because they're going to demolish that place. In that case, in that case, if we are if we are involved in the sale of business, the main thing you have to ask, what is the future plan city here, that particular area? And uh, the, the, the area is going to be changed. Area is going to be changed to different zoning. Area is going to be changed into different category. In that case, your sale of business, there's no value for the sale of business. Very carefully select the location and ask question to the ask question to the landlord. Uh, sorry, ask question to the owner, and uh, you have to know whether the landlord. Second thing, uh, first I said uh, goodwill. When the, uh, next to the goodwill, the location. If you are keeping the same place only, you keep the goodwill unless otherwise it's a franchise business. Franchise business having a name, you can bring uh, bring the goodwill faster because if McDonald's or Tim Bordens or it's like sandwich, different places people can go based on based on the franchise franchise name and advertisement and the franchise existing for years and years, even though location change. But as a regular regular sale of business, location, location, location is important. Who is the one keeping it? When you when you are, when you are dealing with the sale of business, as I said, goodwill, um, um, even even when I was looking for Rishani ready to start, the, uh, even, even the, not a grocery business, it's a professional business. When we are ready to start as a law firm, some lawyers offer their firm to him one million. Even closer to one million, we said we don't need it. We can start on our own. That's where we started. But then trying to say it's a good will. It's a person who you are taking over from other 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 place. It doesn't matter. It's only for the, uh, the, 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 the capitalist business, service business also coming under the part for a good will. When you are working with the if you are if you are for example, I want to select one business. Then only I can I can go say for example pizza store. One pizza store is there. One pizza store is there. Your buyer want to buy the pizza store. As a real estate agent, you don't need to know about the pizza side. The buyer is supposed to know because you may deal with one day pizza store, one day gas station, one day grocery store, one day restaurant, and, 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 and another, another day multiplex. You don't have to master it, everything. But the buyer should know what, what the pizza stores need. For example, okay, in, in, your, in your side, you have obligation to introduce the pizza store. And when you are introduced the pizza store as a buyer side, I just pick some example for the buyer. If the buyer know about the pizza store, but they had to look at it, where is the store located? The based on the location of the pizza store, his sales modules, clientele is different. For example, the pizza store is located near to the near to the high school. Near to the high school means everybody come at the same time. 12 o'clock lunch time, everybody comes same time. You can know, you, you, you can easily see what they need. Pizza, chips packet, and the Coke. That's what they're going to buy. Equal to pizza, they need the chips packet and the Coke. The main business based on the break time. If there is, if there is too many pizza stores located for the apartments close by, what do you have to expect? Most of the peoples are walking. They will order and come and pick it up. Then the business is going to be evening business, not like high school. Pizzas are close to the high school. That's, that's lunchtime business. If the pizzas are located, so many apartments around there, it's definitely going to be evening. And the walking people come and pick it up. You don't need much drivers to deliver it. And you need more people to work on it <coughs> because it's, a, it's an area that's going to be a busy area, location. And the pizza was located only the houses, no apartment, for example. Say you can think somewhere in uh, one or different area. The, um, the, uh, um, there are no so many, no, not too many apartments. Say Major McKen and uh, Major McKen and uh, um, McCowan, for example. Not too many apartments. Everybody, how everything is houses. In that case, what do you need? You need to have more drivers to deliver it. Okay, these are the ones that come with the sale of business category. What kind of business? That one is not our job. There's a buyer who's going to buy it. He should know traffic studies. Which 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 side the car is going? Which side the car is coming back? How many cars are passing by that way? 
for the exposure, for the for the which one, which one, for the convenience store. Traffic studies doesn't need for the pizza store. Just we need it in a different kind of different kind of location study, income study, location study and income study. We should have it rather than the regular traffic passing by and uh, um, how much they can see your store. Okay. For example, if you are dealing with as a, as a salesperson, you are dealing with the pizza shop. You are going there with your clients, and you may need to put the conditions to see uh, um, the, the, how many ounces are there uh, the, under the under the fire court. Are they running with the fire court? Uh, do they have a freezer? If they have a freezer uh, to, to save all the cheese and other stuff, who is the one on the freezer? Freezer is least least one on, and if there is coke, is coke coke cans and other things front there. Who is the one putting the coolers? Is, is the, 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 the owner, the, the pizza store owner having the coolers or he leasing out the coolers? These are the ones important. More than anything else, more than anything else, as a salesperson, you have an obligation to ask them how they're going to buy it. Do they have a cash? Most of the time, sale of business, they had to come with the cash if it is other than the franchise one. Second thing, time of the operation. What time the operation is? If you are buying it under the in, in the mall, if you are if you are buying the if you are if in the regular pizza store, if you are buying it in the mall, you can sell it only to the mall hours. The mall hours. If the mall is mall 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 close by Sundays, for example, and during the pandemic time, we we seen during the pandemic time, uh, even even uh, the, the, the very hard to get the food court in the mall. You know that one. Any 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 very hard to get the places in the mall. But the pandemic time, what happened? We got the chance to buy some 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 people invested invested and was waiting two years to run the run the business right now that that much that much demand okay when you go there and make an offer for the sale of business your part you have to know the hour of operation any restrictions for the parking and other restriction more than more than anything else we had to put the condition the landlord landlord changing the lease to the new tenant say sale of business without property the landlord the new buyer going to buy. Your buyer may have a good credit or bad credit. Your buyer has already run the business and he has some issues in the in, in his or under the name and under, under his profile. The landlord may not going to give. I can tell you one case. Still, we didn't finish it. The case started, I believe, if we am right, definitely around 10, 12 years ago. Still, we still the case doesn't finish. Our office agents, our office agent, they sold the gas station, sold the gas station. Uh, send me some the, in, in, in Toronto and uh, buyer for the property and um, conditional upon signing the lease part. Everything went through the lawyers. Every, two, two real estate companies, two lawyers was involved, but the buyer's lawyer uh, sent us the invoice saying that one deal is completed. After the buyer's lawyer sent the notice saying the lease completed, we, we gave the deposit as a, as a, as a uh, commission to everybody and transaction closed. But the buyer didn't sign the lease agreement with the landlord owner. What happened within a week? They said they they, they agreed to agree to sign it by verbally. But the buyer they started the gas station business. They opened the business and started to run. What happened <clears throat> after one week? They had some arguments between the between the landlord and the new buyer. Not like a residential tenancy, commercial tenancy, landlord have still power. Landlord went and closed the door and put a new lock. The buyer cannot be able to access the access the gas station and the convenience store and everything. That's mean the, the sale of business is around 200,000 plus. What happened if the landlord didn't give access, it became zero. The lawsuit, the buyer started the lawsuit with the office, salesperson and the seller, landlord and everybody. Our side, we got the condemnation letter from the lawyers, the transaction closed. Now, who is the one who is the one in default now? The lawyer, buyer's lawyer, who sent us a uh, transaction close. He's he is the one responsible for the uh, most of the part. But anyway, the case not finished yet. It's over, over 10, 10, 10, 12 years now. We have to be very careful, guys, when we are dealing with this, with this, this business, the landlord supposed to sign the new lease agreement. Otherwise, Otherwise, the sale of business, any issues come, uh, um, um, is go the value value may go to <laughs> zero value. Okay, and you had to put a condition upon changing the changing the land landlord changing the lease to the new tenant, and you had to put a clause saying that one the name of the sale of business. If you are saying somebody putting uh, triple A pizza, triple A pizza, 
he he might say the triple a pizza is my name i am giving the pizza so only triple a pizza i am going to move somewhere in that case what do we have to do we have to put the name and the phone number phone number that somebody calling for last 15 years for the triple a pizza and he changing that phone number to the different location where the phone call going to be the different location and even though he sell the price he is going to lose money we had to put those little things very 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 carefully another case i have another case i have that's happened 10 years ago one of the top agent right now he may he, he sold a regular pizza store and his commission only, only was $2000 commission he made very basic pizza store and um, then you can see office get only $200 commission anyway um, but the, but the same thing what happened um, the, he didn't put the name exactly the name but but name he is going to carry the but the name he, they, they assume the name is there but when they check the name somebody here somebody else in a different location having the same name because the owner put the name triple one say big triple a pizza and he didn't check the name or he didn't register the name he put his own name his own way nobody nobody saw him nobody asked him to take it out when we transfer the name the name not existing uh, he not register the name officially then what happened lawsuit uh, the agent 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 agent, agent mistake uh, rico rico insurance paid uh, on behalf of the agent around 10000 dollars something like that okay I, I, I'm making as a summary, guys. Even though sale of business, even though twenty thousand dollars worth of worth of breakfast place or two million worth of very big restaurant, we had to be very carefully put all the clauses. First, landlord supposed to sign the lease to the new person, and um, uh, these are small businesses. Second, second thing, name and the phone numbers are important for the for the restaurants and pizza store and all all, all those category at uh, category businesses. Okay. And you have to understand the goodwill, how many years they're running it, and what's the reason the owner is selling it. Um, last two years, the, the, the food, food business come for sale. We all know the pandemic time, nobody went to the restaurant. Then the owners cannot be able to keep the keep the, um, the place because the business went down. They wanted to sell it. I know one of the one of the restaurant owner, uh, one of the major franchise restaurant owner. Uh, he took over the restaurant in Markham and Fourteen uh, Avenue in this area. Uh, um, uh, within nine months, uh, nine months, the pandemic came. Uh, um, he came to me. We were starting mortgages. <laughs> uh, he was running that. Uh, how much I he bought it for? One point five million worth of uh, big large restaurant. Uh, guys, the, 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 there are there are things we had to look at it. How many years they're running it? What's the reason they are leaving it? And those kind of things. Second thing, years of operation is important to see the value. And uh, we had to understand, we had to understand uh, uh, the office knows all the clauses. And if we ask the office to do the clauses, we can we can make it up and give it to you. But if it is a, if it is a no name brand, small restaurants so or not restaurant, small pizza store, uh, kind of breakfast places, we had to put the clause saying that one within five kilometers, uh, the owner cannot stand the cannot start the similar businesses. If we start a similar business, and uh, we, we will lose the we will lose the uh, the, the new buyer may lose it. Um, the, I'm going to go through the type of business, sale of business, and uh, what are the things you have to be careful with the site of business for another, another, another five minutes and I, another five, ten minutes, and I can move on to other topic. Under the sale of business, type of business, for example, as I said, restaurant business. If the restaurant business are varies, huge, big varies. One, the basic one is a pizza store business. <coughs> Second thing is a takeout and catering, takeout and catering business. Um, the, the next one is a, is, a, is a breakfast area. Breakfast places, I know there are some breakfast places. Uh, um, they wanted to sell. They were they, they, they are very aggressive and buy it. After eight months to ten, one year, they, every day they go there and open the open the restaurant business, they get fed up. They said, we don't want this business. The seven days we are standing here or six days we are standing here. We are, we are starting the breakfast places. They had to start at four, morning, four o'clock. Then only they can they can prepare the food and give start the issue at six o'clock for the breakfast until ten o'clock. Then some they, they get fed up. Sometimes people ask me to uh, the, the, sell it. Only somebody take over the lease. Lease take over. Lease take over is a big one for the commercial side. You already signed the lease five years. Option to renew another five years. After one year, you want to leave it. The contract law. You had to pay the full money for five years money to leave the lease. In that case, if somebody is come and take the lease. Even though the business doesn't, uh, they don't want to sell the business. If somebody can take over the lease, they can um, they can enjoy uh, giving them for the very lower price. 
um, I know one of the one of the breakfast place our office listed and um, my own clients they listed for is in highway seven highway seven and uh, um, um, the Markham Markham and the ninth line area they bought it for eight for eighty thousand dollars and they was running it for around one year and finally it sold for thirty thousand dollars or less and the agent got ten thousand dollars commission and uh, they, they got only twenty thousand or less because they wanted to transfer the lease we had we had to be careful for that one and um, the, the bigger restaurants bigger restaurants you go there you had to you had to know what is it, what kind of food they are cooking how many seats are there how many seats are there and how many employees work what is the what is the turnover what is the maintenance fees for the particular places how many what is the parking facilities if, the, if there is no parking so even though you understand uh, the, 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 uh, the the how the parking is important um, the, for the for the, the any any business uh, parking arrangement and the parking access um, the based on those ones is the one the the the, 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 the price negotiation comes and convenience store guys the next one is the next small business is a convenience store when you go to the convenience store again uh, you have to know the area what they're going to do that small plaza the convenience store what they're going to do uh, is there any changes zoning changes going to be the particular area you have to check yourself with the city you can be lazy and ask the salesperson uh, other other listing agent he will, he will say and there's nothing nothing going to happen in that case uh, but you have to go to the city and you have to verify yourself for the zoning changes and what they're going why they're selling it but they're going to build that area and those kind of things plus when it's come to the convenience store the major major misunderstanding for people is the stock the stock is separate than the business for example you are you are looking today the store full of stock there and after that one after that one um, uh, what will happen uh, uh, if you don't if you don't um, uh, find it sorry if they, if they sell all the stock if they sell all the stock and uh, excuse me guys it's a very important call i need to take it for just only 30 seconds uma the deal continue one go saying go now the meeting when you can deal continue one go deal continue one go i'll bring the draft Um, that's the emergency call from the lawyer. That's part of the business. We had to take it sometimes. All right, guys. Uh, then is the, the convenience store. When the when you go to the convenience store, when you go to the convenience store, what do you have to do? The stock. What are the stock you are seeing in? What are the stock you are seeing it? He may sell everything for the end of the closing date. In that case, stock is not including the sale. Sale only for the goodwill and the charters and fixtures. Then, for example, you are buying the convenience store for uh, some more convenience store for 80,000. The stock is not including. So how then what are they going to do? The day before closing date, the day before closing date, there are companies come and value and they throw out, uh, out the expired, expired stocks and they look for the stock based on the cost, whatever the cost price you buy. You bought the cost price based on the cost you had to pay for the existing owner for the stock. But the commission is not including for the stock. What are the money they're paying for the stock? That's being not included this commission. Commission only for commission only for uh, the sale of business category. Okay, uh, the stock is separate. Hundred percent stock is separate. Okay, the next part for the um, um, as I told you about, I, I covered only for the restaurant business, the professional business, lawyers business, the dentist business. Anything comes dental business actually. Dentist business are very expensive because of the machineries, machineries and equipments are. Each machinery is cost uh, some some chairs, dental chairs, and everything thirty to forty thousand dollars. In that case, uh, based on that one, after amortization of the uh, the, the cost, uh, the, we had to pay for it. If it is a if it is a if it is a law office, for example, how many clients do you have? How many clients are coming in? Are they going to give the clients for you? Based on that one, law offices uh, come. For example, look at the real estate office. We are the real estate agent. Real estate office. How many real estate agents are there? How much money we make? What is the split we are giving based on everything else? What is the net profit? <coughs> Companies value you based on based on service business. Based on that one, if you own the if you, if you, uh, the, the the business is own, own the unit, that's a different different commercial value. And uh, the last part is the gas station. The salesperson asked me about the gas station. 
gas station and he want the he he want to involve the gas station and he need more details for the gas station then i am going to the gas station guys gas station i i posted one of the video today i posted the video because of the the gas station whenever whenever i talk about the gas station who are in the group of home life one two or social group i send the video for the inspection of the gas station site just to get some idea um, the, 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 the part one inspection part two inspection um, the, the, the gas tank and those kind of things I just send you some i don't know how many of you get the chance to see that one uh, anyway uh, we, we will go through the gas station side again gas station with the proper with the with, with gas station business is um, sale of business or sale of business with the property based on that one most of the gas station out of toronto sale of business with the mostly out of business the sale of business with the property the property come with the store gas station business is basically more, okay, we come back to the store again but it is located in the gas station um, um, there are most you can see out, out, outside outside toronto gas station uh, 905 and uh, other areas gas station sometimes the residential multiplex may be located in the land and uh, and the stores are located in the stand and the gas station convenience store all are included in that case property value is important and what going to bring them in the gas station business sometimes the gas station located located in the major highways or close to the major street just yes, uh, people can come in otherwise there are if, if, uh, you can see the term uh, gas station having a team importance uh, um, the team importance come with the store in that case what bringing the people in the team importance bringing the people in for the gas station business vice versa people coming to the gas station they go to the team importance that's the reason they are uh, ISO and the uh, team orders are joined together and having some agreements because the base bis, both business grow based on the, how many people are coming in uh, traffic they can they increase the traffic with uh, uh, the other business joined to the gas station business and uh, uh, some gas stations sale method uh, the, even the person who buying the gas station he should know same as the pizza business I said he should know but at the same time gas station one of the time uh, um, most of the gas stations are franchise owns uh, the, the, they pay the money based on how many liters you the pump the gas how many liters of gas you pump based on the liters they they give you the uh, commission bonus and uh, the, 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 uh, all the income but that's reduced now and even most of the franchise gas stations also they ask you to buy and sell gas based on the stock market up and down uh, sometimes this affecting the owners because gas price is affecting too much uh, affecting the owners for the the profit based on the gas because of the market fluctuation uh, um, the gas price fluctuation we, we we saw it right now the gas price went up to two dollars and today is 159 150 160 <clears throat> changes there what kind of model that gas station running is important uh, for the buyer to, to decide whether the gas, gas station is fit for his business style. And the uh, other thing is a uh, gas station business today, gas station business, guys, not today, even I can say even 10 years ago, uh, you you get, you all saw it. Uh, the, the, again, I am picking ASO gas station. They changed the word OTR um, um, on the run, um, on the run and uh, make the make the, the convenience store is bigger, the bigger. And a small convenience store, people own. They lost some money and they closed the closed the business because of the gas station stores became very big now. Gas station store became as a regular convenience store in any location you go. One of the time when you drive the old plazas, um, you can see Becker store and others the regular convenience store with the lotto sign and everything. They they sell milk and lotto. Now you don't see much because of the gas convenience store business is reducing because of the gas station. Convenience stores are getting better, bigger, and they're selling all kinds of products, including the coffee over there. In that case, uh, the convenience store, again, how many square foot the convenience store is? Uh, where is the cashier is the gas station? Cashier in the front or cashier at the back? If the cashier at the back, people walk in the convenience store and go to the cashier at the back. In that case, what will happen? They pick for more items before they pay for the cash. Yes. So many things are there for the convenience store side. Convenience store is one of the major revenue. For the gas station many people's making money from the convenience store rather than the gas station gas station is only for people to uh, bring it to the dairy up and the next to the convenience store car wash car wash is one of the major business 
even some some gas station if you are dealing with a gas station you will understand car wash owned by separate person car wash owned by the separate body they are they are building a building up the gas station and uh, um, you sweep the car and you run it through and the vacuum is different company and the uh, <laughs> Um, um, uh, uh, filling the air is a different company and uh, every, everybody charged separately a uh, gas station. Um, um, it's not only one owner owning. Uh, the, mostly, mostly the gas uh, um, the car wash is, is uh, one separate company than uh, gas station companies because, because, because check it out when you, when you go, go and buy, check it out. And the last part of the gas station, guys, for the closing cost, closing, oh, gas, gas tank, the important part of the gas tank. When you look at the gas station, you have to see how many pumps are there. Based on how many pumps, uh, more people can attract to the gas station. Uh, even some pumps, only one side pump or both side pumps. And uh, how, many, how many gas tanks are there? And you have to look at the condition of the gas tank and condition of the gas station, how many years old. Is a newer, newer station or old, old station? If it is a, the difference between the gas stations, different with the gas station, gas tank, is the one of the major, 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 major one. For example, all the gas station come with the iron and steel gas tanks. Iron and steel gas tank, maybe over the period of time, is already maybe say for example, 40 years, 50 years. What happened? Same but start to start to leak the leak the gas or oil. Um, that's very important. Newer gas station, all, all fiberglass, fiberglass, fiberglass tanks doesn't leak. Years and years they can stand. We had to look at that one. And under the gas station category, based on the years of the gas station, any 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 banks or any lenders, if they're going to finance either sale of business or with the property for the gas station business, mostly mostly gas station business, the franchise, sale of business, the franchise owners, Petro Canada, ISO, Shell, they give their own finance rather than let you go to the banks. That's the way they run because they know better than the banks and they know how, how to give the money to the lend out to the gas business and plus the interest is higher, of course. And um, um, if you are doing with the, if you are, if you are gas station with the property, you are going to the bank, 100 out of 200%. They need an environmental report. The environmental report, they're going to go through phase one environmental, phase two. Uh, but you know what is phase one mean? Phase one is a regular report. That's not enough for the gas station. Definitely we need to do the phase two environmental report. We did the class we, 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 a few we, we, few weeks ago, uh, maybe I can say uh, one and a half ago, we bring the environmental company, the environmental company gave you guys enough advice, how many weeks it takes, what is the cost, and those kind of things. Again, environmental phase two, the, we, had, we had to get the pH level of the water and my and, underwater as well as the pH level of the pH level of the uh, soil. Especially the we had to reel the reel the um, soil near to the gas tanks and they want to see the under the gas tank under the gas tank under the gas tank is there any leakages there or not um, that takes at least two months time for the gas station to get the um, um, NVR report phase two report you phase two phase one is mandatory you will get it but the phase one get faster but phase one is not enough for the gas station because we we had we had to do the phase two for sure if then then your conditions your conditions you have to put at least sixty days condition for the environmental environmental side. Otherwise you will you will run into the problem. Then we have to report very hard to get less than less than sixty days. Some case some of some companies is doing it for forty five days for the environmental report for the gas station. But you need you may need two months closes for the gas station environmental side. And uh, if we, if we are missing anything, please, guys, come out, come out and tell me. So, one of you missing this one and uh, more, explain more. Uh, I have, I, I can see now. Uh, um, one time was seventy agents, and now it's sixty-five members are here. Just come out and ask me. So, one of you missing for the sale of business, this and this, and uh, what we had to do. Then I can explain, including the gas station, and the last part for the gas station or any 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 sale of business closing cost. When it's come to the closing cost, sale of business, there is no land transfer tax. There's no land is transferring. Gas station, sale of business, and the property. If it is come to sale of business and the property, we had to consider two things. Um, the and under the closing side, when it's come to the closing adjustment, yes, the every 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 gas tank, every gas tank easily contain 
um, uh, 30,000 liters, 30,000 uh, gallons, sorry, uh, they, they, they mark gallons uh, actually in the, the, the Google website, uh, the, 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 because of the American side maybe, uh, 30,000 gallons uh, um, the, the gas there, then we need to know for the meters how many gallons, uh, gallon gas we are, the day of the closing we are, we are getting from the uh, other owner to us, our hand, that's had to be measured. Um, the invent, inventory, but that's coming at the inventory measurement. We had to pay, we, we had to make the adjustment for that one. Plus HST as and land transfer tax. Land transfer tax only applicable to the property. HST is there. HST for the business applicable to HST. Commercial property applicable to HST. But you don't need to combine both. We are salespeople. I'm not a lawyer to tell you HST is there. We had to pay as a as a realtor, as a trainer. I want to, I want how you can minimize the taxes. Yes, uh, um, the, for the for the sale of business tax, you had to pay through the lawyer on time, and the property sale of for example, you are buying a gas station for three million, and the sale of business only for six hundred thousand, two point four million for year, two two point five million for the property. Then don't let the lawyer pay for the two point five million, uh, two point four million property for the HST. Save three hundred three million. Um, if it is three million worth of uh, uh, sale of business with the property, multiply by 13, 390,000 dollars, 390,000 close to 400,000 HST alone. Then, then you, you are buyer, they are not going to have that kind of luxury money in the time of the close of the transaction. Leave it to the accountants. There are so many ways accountants know how to how to do the uh, magic and how to do the playing, uh, how to how to pay legally, legally, yeah, I'm not talking illegally anything, legally how to pay less less HST uh, and how much legally, how much how much uh, value they want to put for the properties and everything, go, go to the good accountant who knows, who know how to, to file the uh, property after, after, after purchase the property, how to file it. But sale of business, yes, you had to pay it on time for the sale of business for HST part. And uh, closing cost again, land transfer tax, guys. Please look at the lawyer's you know, lawyer's paper. Uh, lawyer's paper. If we are, we are buying for gas station three million, uh, say one million dollars sale of business, then then the again, land transfer tax only for two million, not for the whole three million. Double check the lawyer's uh, the, the trust ledger. Double check the lawyer's uh, um, the statements. Uh, um, the, I, I'm in public now. I don't want to go too much on it, but uh, careful. You have to learn. And care for the guide your clients uh, rather than getting any traps. Okay. All right. Now, anybody have any question for the sale of business? Anybody have any question for the gas station sales? Please come out and ask me if you have any questions. Okay. Uh, the agent who asked the question, he sent me the uh, different categories. Give me, give me guys, give me guys a uh, few minutes. I'll go through. Good morning, Selvana. Sale of business with building, I covered. In case if any land attached to, what are the things we need to do? We need to consider before we put an offer. Answer is question. What are the things we need to consider? Environmental side. Environmental side, uh, difference value. Okay, the question, question is sale of business with the building. In case any land attached to, that's been building and the land uh, attached to, what are the things we need to consider before we putting an offer? What should I include the condition? Uh, what is the rate of return? Um, the, will be acceptable for the investment. Okay, for here, now land attached to the property, just I, as I, I already covered for the environmental report, what, what are the other businesses attached to that, uh, that land? Any uh, other than other than the convenience store with the gas station, any apartment building, residential houses, or what, does, what, what is located there? How big is the land is? How big is the land is? Based on that one. Second thing, the look at the zoning for the land. As you look at the zoning for the land, and if the zoning allow for the car wash, if the land, if, if there are any, then it's, it's a bigger land, and uh, then you can do the do the do the the car wash, uh, especially uh, rather than the machine wash is a coin wash. That's one of the major 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 profitable business next to the storage business. Uh, but they look at that one of the land. They check with the city. What is the city's plan? But are the are the cities going to allow for the allow for the car wash or expanding the gas station from uh, four pump to eight pumps, something like that. You can you can you can check those ones uh, if there is land there attached to. And his last question: uh, um, 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 What are the rate of return will be acceptable for this kind of investment? Okay, there are two kind of rate of return is we are going to talking about here right now. Uh, um, the rate of return we look for how much money you put, how much money you're going to get back. That's for rate of return. 
um, for the gas station gas station um, the business is based on based on how many employees you have what kind of employees you are hiring it what kind of employees you are hiring it what kind of what how many hours you on the operational side that's going to be very big time uh, the the investment for example if you are if you are looking for the pure commercial if you are looking for the pure commercial plazas I can say a rate of return minimum minimum investment cap, cap rate cap rate not not in return of investment I'm not talking about the return of investment cap rate cap rate I can say the commercial plaza we can look for five percent plus five percent plus or six percent but unfortunately today the in the, the inflation is eight percent if the inflation is eight percent regular commercial return of investment for the the, 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 the rental return of investment is six percent but I can say we are losing money because of the inflation is higher. I am not uh, answering this question, uh, Raj, your question, what rate of return you are getting it because of the business rate of return is based on the operator. Uh, how many employees you put, how many employees you are, McDonald's, they start to hire what they did. They're one of the successful McDonald's, what, is, what they did. They hire the young blood. Young blood means the students. Students, uh, as well, the government with the regulation, are uh, the students you hire, not for the work hours. If it is a student, not for the work hours. After work hours, students can hire. Students have a young blood, forced blood. They are very active. They are very, very active and lower salary. The, the government-based salary doesn't apply. If they, somebody somebody has somebody a student and uh, they want to go less money, just they, they, they are, there are so much uh, different regulations there for the wages side. That's one of the part of successful McDonald's. They hire the young employees, young, young, young students. And students benefit we have a part-time job for the work and McDonald's benefited because of the, uh, the flexibilities uh, the, 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 this one of the way this one of the way uh, the sale of the sale of business uh, investment side Raj, uh, the rate of return I cannot tell you for the, uh, the gas station business because gas station business what kind is there are so many factors is involved if everything is unique okay that's it for gas of gas, sale of business and gas station guys I have another 20 minutes, uh, um, 15, 20 minutes to go or else half an hour to go for the uh, message I send you guys, message I send you for the uh, purchase sale agreement and the closes. Uh, the reason I send this one, many agents are not understanding properly for the condition and the close. You have to understand what is condition and what is close, guys. Condition is a condition, that's condition need to be, uh, need to be meet by the Fulfillment, yes, fulfilled by the uh, either buyer or seller. Seller can put the condition. Seller can put the condition saying that one, uh, he need three days time to think about the offer. That's one of the conditions seller can put. Seller can put the condition uh, saying that one, um, the, 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 he want to buy other house. Then only the, he can sell this house for, for four days condition. Uh, same thing, the buyer condition. Buyer can put the mortgage condition, financing condition, inspecting condition. Nowadays, is appraisal condition is one of the major part now. Appraisal condition, and if it is a if it is a condominium, is a set certificate condition. If it is a commercial, is an environmental condition, uh, or our bulk sale like bulk sale like uh, uh, regulations. There are so many things we can do it for the when we do the purchase sale agreement. But only thing one one day I understand purchase sale agreement. Different kind of property we are making the different number, different form number for the purchase sale. Freehold property form number five hundred. And uh, agreement of purchase for the commercial phone number five, sorry, freehold property phone number 100, commercial, the uh, condominium properties phone number 101, and the commercial property phone number 500, and um, the, uh, um, business for sale, business for sale properties, uh, I believe it's 502. Uh, that's what I think. Anyway, you can ask the office, they will, they will, yeah, agreement of purchase and sale. Business, uh, business in the lease permission, lease, uh, lease properties 502. There are different kind of forms are there, guys. But what are the forms is there? Maybe the uh, uh, fine letters are different. Different fine print is different. That make us easy. Make us easy. For, easy to pull out, for, fill out the information. For example, condo level number, unit number, level number, parking number, everything we had to put it in. Maintenance fees we had to put it in. How much the maintenance fees is involved? That the form is going to be uh, standardized for. Uh, for the condominium and the freehold property, the regular, regular the, the basic form for the freehold property. Uh, check it, check it out. But the major problem coming from trap right now to the office, 
uh, agents listing in the condominium under the freehold property, land piece property. Some properties are coming land piece property, PLOT. Some, some properties are coming under the, uh, the even maintenance property, they are listing under the freehold. And uh, the agents doesn't look at the past history and everything, rush, rush, rush. They come and give it to the uh, office, office, office secretaries, we can expect. They are secretaries, they work for regular regular salary. They make the offer and give it to them. Then, then finally, this is a big mess. Check it out, the properties, whether even though he listed under the freehold, it is a condominium, it has to go under the condo, condo offers. You, you have a responsibility because you make big money. Um, don't blame the secretaries only. Uh, the, whatever the, whatever the, what are the listing you give? They follow the listing, and once they finish it, they going to go to other one. They may need to do the offers, ten offers a day. Uh, they are not going to verify too much. But your job, you have to verify, verify very carefully. What exactly they are? What what category is there? Where they, where are they, where are they listed? And what you really need it? Okay, all right. And under the under the purchase sale agreement, please, please, please understand. Purchase sale agreement, buyer and seller. Nobody else is. Uh, involved for the purchase sale agreement. Yes, real estate salesperson, you are witnessing it. You're only witnessing it. You are not signing. You are not part of the deal. You're only a witness guy. If you are sending the docu sign, there is no witness at all. Um, um, in this case, it's buyer and seller sole responsibilities for the purchase sale agreement. Uh, buyer cannot come and say, I don't know anything. I, I rely on you. No, he can't do that one. He has to know what exactly is doing it. Okay. And uh, whenever you sign the purchase sale agreement, you are signing under the seal, under the seal. For example, when you, you look at the purchase sale agreement form number 100, uh, under the schedule, under the schedules, you put a schedule A and you're going to put the closes. I'm going to discuss with that part a little bit today and 11 o'clock. And uh, under the schedule, there are there's number one, it's a pre-printed one. Number one is the uh, irrevocability. Under the irrevocability, what are you doing it? As a buyer, why is buyer name is there? Buyer offering to the seller. That means irrevocability by the buyer, 11.59, 11.59 p.m. Uh, today is August 6th. August 6th, uh, 11.59 p.m. That means buyer is giving the price to the seller until 11.59 p.m. August 6th. That's expiring midnight. After that one, after that one, that's not worth it. Then what they had to do, buyer, seller, but seller is doing it, he cross it out, buyer, and change it as a seller, and say putting in another date as a October, August 9th. That means until August 9th, they're giving another two days extra because he's going somewhere and come back maybe. Your offer is valid by the seller side. That's the changes there. The second thing, completion of the transaction, that's not an, that's a regular one. Notice, notice means they're delivering the fax numbers, notice. Chatters included. Okay, I get the I get the call this week. This week I got a call. Uh, salesperson. Uh, he, he, he forget to mark the chatters, but the hot water tank is rental. So the chatters included, fixes included, rental item. Rental item, hot water tank, mostly office always put rental item, hot water tank, unless otherwise rent, hot water tank is owned by the party. And if they don't put the hot water tank is rental, that particular case, our, 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 our agent's buyer said, okay, hot water tank, you didn't put the rental. That's mean I assume the hot water tank is owned. Then I'm not going to pay for monthly, monthly for the hot water tank. Buy it and give it to me. How much? Luckily, the hot water tank is, is only, only only a rental item. They ask already, it's already, you know, the tank is already uh, the three, four years old. They ask $1,200. Then the agent said, okay, I don't mind to pay another $1,200 and finish it up because uh, they're buying the expensive house and uh, they will give the clients and have me many reason. But these are for, for the fault is here. You didn't check it properly. Chatters. What is chatters? What are the items you can plug in and take it out? Or what are the items is moving, move, move, moving items? For electrical light fixtures, um, the fridge stove, fridge stove, gas burner equipments, um, and um, the gas burner and equipments. We are putting the gas burner and equipment as a chatter, but even, even those one is screw, screw and nail it. Uh, in some cases they, they want to put it as a fixer, fixer, fixtures. Some cases they are putting as a chatters. Um, anyway, as long as you you enter, that one is good enough. Um, um, the, and the fixtures included, definitely the fixtures are fixtures. Um, um, building building uh, deck, the front back, uh, those are those are under the fixtures category. We can we can see it. Whatever is nail it is is coming under the fixtures. Uh, in my argument, is a what, what the furnace furnace is a, under the fixture category. 
If the furnace is a rental only, it can come. Lease is one only can come under the chattel category. It's different. I don't go too deep on that one, guys. But uh, the fixtures mean another. Another say, for example, mount in TV. TV mount. TV mount is there in the family area. That's coming under the fixtures category because it's already mounted in. Uh, screw it, screw it and mounted in. Some people, some 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 arguments they can even put it under the chattel's category. But this this kind of anything screwed permanently that's coming under the fixtures. Okay. And rental items are rental item. Careful for the rental item. Rental item sometimes is a real rental. Other category, they own it. They own it and uh, they are paying, they feel it as a, they're paying a rental. For example, when hot water, hot water rental, so many cases, so many, so many companies cheated the clients. Um, um, they always say, we replace the tank, we replace the hot water tank, you pay the same amount. But the tank is owned, it's not a rental item. When you when when the time of the sale, if they want to clear out the tank, it's going to cost you six to eight thousand um, dollars. Um, the careful for the other one, uh, satellites, sorry, uh, solar, solar, solar lights, solar, solar, solar batteries in the uh, rooftop. Careful on that one. We always not always, at least two three times a year, I get a problem with the solar solar power, solar batteries in the roof. The buyer doesn't even see it, and inspector doesn't tell. Uh, or else they're taking over the taking over the transaction. Uh, they, they, they had to take, if we are we are a buyer, you have to take over. Otherwise, seller is going to be, be huge, big money. And uh, they, 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 that's we can talk about that separately, but that's supposed to, supposed to be there too. The number seven is HST. HST, we always say HST included in for the residential, but not always. Uh, not always. I went into the one of the offer, our, our office agent did. Uh, it's Kautra Lakes, and uh, there's, uh, there's another, 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 a little bit far from Kautra Lake area. Uh, we say it's a land, it's a little bit bigger land. It's a residential property, but residential property running as a Airbnb for the last three years. In that case, that's coming under the business property. If coming under the business property, residential property, HC is applicable for that particular transaction. In that case, there's an exception, guys. There's an exception. If it is a commercial, you don't need to pay the HST time of the closing the transaction. Again, I repeat, commercial commercial real estate properties, you had to pay the HST. But as long as you are an HST registered, you are an HST registered, buyer and seller HST registered, buyer doesn't need to pay the HST time of the closing the transaction. And there are so many ways you can skip the HST, I would say. Go to the right accountant. Even three million property, you don't need to pay HST. There are so many different ways for the commercial. But if it's a residential property, under the HST category, you must pay time of the closing the transaction, same as non-residence properties. Okay. Then the, the, but at the same time, commercial or residential offers the HST is included. In a regular regular residential property, as a rental property, doesn't matter. One-time rental, not a short-term rental, Airbnb rental. Uh, um, the HSE including just yes, HSE doesn't charge HSE, even though Airbnb is not listed as under the serious category. Uh, no one knows. No one knows that's what they have under, under the Airbnb category. But the only time you may end up paying some HST if the listing shows, if the listing shows brand new brand name, brand word, brand new app, uh, brand new fridge store, wash and dryer. Then the lawyer have a right to ask. The brand new, then he has to collect the HST and pay because brand new applicable to HST, not for the house, for the chatters, whatever is there. Little minor things are there in the, the, this kind of example, but 99% chances HST is included. Only you, you may you may run into some problem for the power sale properties and trustee properties, there and the estate property sometime. Estate property mostly they don't know how to put that one. Then they put it HST included. They don't know, but the the. Uh, power sale properties, the lawyers looking after, they may say HSC excluded, but at the same time, the time of the transaction, you don't pay it. And you can follow the title search, the title, feature use, closing uh, arrangement, and all this one. I'm going to I'm going to go for it uh, for the conditions of the of, of the offer. Uh, when it's come to the condition of the under under the schedule A, under the schedule A, there are conditions. When it's come to the conditions, when it's come to the conditions, the first first one. First one is a close. Always the always the uh, schedule uh, schedule A. Uh, the first one come as a close. The buyer agreed to pay the balance of purchase price subject to adjustment in bank draft by certified check to the seller on the completion of the transaction. That's mean. That's mean uh, the buyer. Uh, we, are, we are telling them we are not asking you loan. 
<laughs> the day of the closing. We cannot say we don't have enough money, day of the closing. We are saying we are buying for cash. How we don't need, we are paying for cash to the seller, even though we don't buy for cash. What are the mortgage we get? We are settled, settled down everything cash, unless otherwise when the take back uh, close is coming to the agreement. Okay, that's a very important, important close, not a condition. Second one is a condition. Offer is condition upon inspection of the subject property by the certified home inspector for deficiencies and obtaining a report satisfactory to the buyer at his expenses. And continues to read, you already have it. Okay, this one is a conditional of conditional offer for the inspection. In that case, you are saying the offer is conditional upon inspection of the subject property by a certified home inspector, not your uncle or auntie. They had to take the certified, certified home inspector and do the inspection. And the, during the inspection time, as a real estate salesperson, you had to go. The selling agent also need to come. At least one salesperson is supposed to be there and do the inspection. Uh, Sometimes the agent might say the clients went to the work and I did the inspection. That's 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 legal, but not a good practice. That's what I want to say. And uh, second thing, the inspection condition, please, 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 uh, um, you, as a professional, you have to understand, inspection only for the major deficiencies, not the major deficiencies, not for every little thing. When you go to the inspection, the water is dripping from the pipe. Uh, the, uh, that's not coming at the inspection, and uh, and if you go there and uh, one 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 window glass is broken, that's you already seen it before you see the house. That's you are not going to put the report as an inspection report. Change it that one. Anything major, whatever your physical eyes cannot see, inspector come and see. As I'm telling the agents, okay, I am telling our, our our group of members, not the buyers. Make them understand the basic. Uh, deficiency is not under the inspector. The inspector I don't need the inspector to see the glass is broken or the, the, the tiles is broken. Uh, the, 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 there's a wear and tear is there only for the base of the house. House is 30 years old. There's a wear and tear there. Not everything going to be the brand new one. Then please understand and be realistic for the inspection condition. Over is, over is conditional upon buyer arranging satisfactory financing within five days. Okay, for example, this clause saying that one, you are putting the clause Buyer getting the satisfactory financing. What is satisfactory to the buyer? That's, there is no definition is here. So buyer saying, I don't want to pay 5% interest rate. Of course, the bank interest is 5.34 fixed rate now. Okay, for example, it's nothing specific here. But still, still this close, we are putting it as a, as a satisfactory to the buyer side. If we don't get the financing, at least we can, under the condition, that's mean the offer is not firm. The offer is a conditional offer. In that case, the, the un, until the condition doesn't meet, over is null and white. In that case, you get the deposit back. Even though the seller doesn't get the deposit back, if you go to the courts, definitely you get the deposit back if it is a if it is a conditional offer. If you want to make it firm, at least please cross it out and ask them to sign and ask them to sign 127 form saying that one. The buyer choosing to cross the cross the offer, uh, he doesn't need the financing, he doesn't need the inspection. There are so many things going on, guys, uh, because the market is changing. Uh, what are the phone call I get from our salespeople? After the closing only. After the closing, they're saying buyer, buyer is going to sue us. Uh, so many other things. Uh, um, um, in that case, when we take the offer, everything is crossed out. Careful. If it, if it is crossed out, it's good. If somebody delete it, delete that one. Make sure to get 127 forms, okay? And... Uh, the next one, if required, if required, the seller agrees to permit the appraiser from the buyer's financing institution to access the property up to three times. For example, this is a close, it's not a condition, but nowadays some, some agent wanted to put the close as an appraisal close. But some of them argument is the if the mortgage close is there, listing agent may argue the mortgage close is there, get the mortgage is a firm, firm approval. In that case, you don't need the buy appraisal close. But Anyway, we are in the real estate sales people, not the buyers and sellers are different, 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 different category of the time they come and buy, do the transaction. Appraisal is one of the major part right now. Uh, I think, I think you, you may, you can put the financing condition and tell your financing uh, authorities to do the appraisal right away to get the appraisal value of the property before you give the condition. Because if you, if you feel like you are giving over price, you, you know your mind. Uh, we work for commissions, uh, but you know your mind. In case you think you are giving more money, um, then make sure to put the appraisal condition. And uh, survey, survey is a close seller. Seller at his own expenses agree to supply the copy of the existing survey. Survey is a close. Um, 
Good to have the survey. It's not a mandatory one. Depends on the location of the property. If it is a larger property, acres of land properties, or um, the properties in the corner properties, um, you need a survey. If it is a, the, the builder's property, less than 20 years old, in the middle properties, you don't, you don't really need a survey. Your title insurance is going to cover other things than the survey things. Uh, survey boundaries, you already already the fence is there. Uh, then do nothing to do with the survey with the regular regular properties, less than 20 years old properties. Even in older properties, yes, uh, or bigger, bigger land properties with the, the corner property, definitely corner property, you need to know cities, lines, and where you can put the fence, but are the fence regulation, all, all this one. You have to know that part. Um, um, the, these are the basic guys. These are basic. Some agents call me and ask me. Other other party real estate agent asked to cross the transaction for the buyer. In this uh, agreement, acknowledge the real estate brokerage broker and salesperson. Uh, the sales representative so named the agreement recommended the buyer obtain the independent. That's the important part for the independent legal advice. If anybody if anybody is saying the buyer uh, um, the, um, have the rights to invest. In, 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 uh, sorry, uh, the, the last part the seller I guess, is to provide the access to the property and the pro Okay, uh, it's understood, I agree. The offer is based on information provided by the MLS, MLS number. MLS number that some agent doesn't want to do the MLS number, M MLS trans, MLS information is there. The reason if anybody put the MLS number and attach the MLS, that's mean whatever the whatever the information the MLS is com coming under the legal bounty. For example, or condo uh, saying the condo uh, parking is exclusive. Sorry, parking is owned in the MLS, but uh, um, if you attach the MLS, your parking is owned. Then the seller is agreed. Seller may end up paying big dollars to buy the parking for you and give you. They can't buy the parking someday in the value they had to give you. Again, because the MLS, whatever is MLS is there, that doesn't come to effect for the court cases. Court cases looking for MLS as an invitation to treat, as an information. Whatever is in the agreement only come to the effect. But at the same time, if you attach the MLS, that's going to be an another level we are bringing the agreement. Um, that's it for you guys today. If you ask me a question, I am available. Um, if you guys have any questions, come out and ask me. I can I can uh, explain to you. I see one question in the chat box. I can check that one out. Um, no, the chat the chat box there is a, only a comment. It's not a question. Um, um, if anybody has any question, please come and ask me. Otherwise, that's it for today. We will meet for the next Zoom meeting. Looking for the question, guys. Anybody want to come out? Sale of business? Purchase sale agreement? A Rasa Ride Sharing Company, A R A S A dot C A N R A N E T A L T K S A N R A N D A Rasa Drivers I P N E Download Say The Drivers A G A V E L A Y P E P E R I N G A L M A D A N D A M N A N G A I R A M D A L A S V A R A I S A M B A D I N G A L V A N I G A N U R U V A N I N G A L A Rasa N E T A L T I N M U L A M M A L I K A P U R U K A L M E T R U M U N A V U P U R U K A L I V I P A T O D O V A D I K A L A R H A L I K U D E L I V A R I S A Y A L A M T A M I L I L T A K A V A L K A L I A R I Y A L A I N G A L G T A P A T I N A T P A D U A N D U G A L A R I N D U K U N D A V A R A M B I D U V I P A N I T U R A Y U D A K A M A K A L A L A R I Y A P A T T A V A R A M A N A S H I V A P I L L A I 416-854-0 0005 Taxi Broker Licensed by City of Toronto